Hi, I'm Loli, and I'm so glad you are here. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to use these solar lanterns from Dollar Tree to create some beautiful fold decor for your outdoor space. Are you ready? Let's go. For this project, I'm going to use this wood slice that I found at my local thrift shop. After I cleaned it very well, I'm going to put it to the side to dry. In the meantime, I'm going to take some antique wax and stain this little chair that I've also found at my local thrift shop. But I'm going to water down the antique wax in order to have it be a lighter stain. Today, I am participating in a collaboration with three amazing crafters. Jenny from Lovely Moments Creating, May from Craft Away with May, and Aurea from DIY with Aurea. The links to their channels and to their playlists will be linked in the description box below and also pinned in the comments. Make sure that you're heading over to their channels and to their playlists and show everyone some love. Okay, once it was covered, I'm going to set it aside to dry. And now it's time to put everything together. I'm placing the chair on one of the sides of the wood slice. And I'm going to take a piece of floral foam from Dollar Tree and I'm going to attach it to the opposite side. And to do that, I'm just using some hot glue. Then I'm going to use this solar light from Dollar Tree and removing the tag and I'm going to cut down the stick. I'm removing the stick from the inside of that tube and position it as if I was going to put it in the ground. But I'm going to cut off a section so it, I have less of height when I attach it onto that floral foam. Then I'm covering the floral foam with a generous amount of floral moss. Once it was all covered and tidy, I'm going to attach the chair to the wood slice using some hot glue in each one of its legs. Then I'm going to use the scarecrow that I found at my local Dollar Tree and we are going to make it a little more comfortable. It has a stick up his woohoo. So we're going to just trim that down a little bit and I left a little piece there so I'm able to stick it onto the chair and it will stay erect. Then I'm going to glue down the legs just using some hot glue and I'm just gluing it down to each one of the legs of the chair. Now comes the fun part. We are going to add some pumpkins all around this piece. I'm going to use different varieties that I got over the years from Dollar Tree and some leaves as well that I also got from Dollar Tree. And we are adding the leaves with a little bit of hot glue here and there no rhyme or reason just going you know with it trying to make it look nice and natural so i'm just adding those maple leaves as you see right there i am trying to use different color leaves so they have like that foliage and that effect that you have during fall with all the different colors and i'm adding the pumpkins here and there i'm just gonna let you watch this section right here so you see how i'm just repositioning i just keep playing with the colors trying to do different combinations until i'm happy with the end result i just want to take a quick moment to say welcome to my video i hope you enjoy it and don't forget to visit my friends aurea jenny and may and if you're coming from their channels a warm welcome i hope you enjoy the video and i hope you will consider subscribing and joining the lodi these creations family it is free and it means the world to me all right guys so here i am just adding the more pumpkins to the back as well i want this to be cute no matter what angle you look at it and i'm adding some leaves in between as you might see right there as well here i'm breaking in some extra leaves i'm going with the yellow ones putting them in between trying to make this look nice and full and also cheerful and folly if that's a word <laughs> When I got to this point that was itchy, I was like, is that it? But I'm like, no, let's add a little leaf underneath him as well. Then I said, you know what? Let's add some sunflowers. So I took these tiny sunflowers that I got from Dollar Tree as well. And I just added it in a couple of sections in between the flowers and in between the pumpkins. Just to bring a little bit more, I don't know, <laughs> cuteness, I guess. And here I decided to add another pumpkin in the back. Just because I can see the hay there and I wish I would have used hay instead, but I figured the hay from the scarecrow was enough. Then I added a little bit more of that green 
leaf just to bring the green in. For the next inspiration, I'm going to be using these glass pumpkins that I got from Dollar Tree and two of these candle holders as well. The first thing that I did is remove all those tags and I'm going to remove the tags from the bottom of each one of the pumpkins as well. I have found that adding some heat to the glue helps it loosen and it's easier to take it off. In some instances, you are left with a little bit of paper, but you can always use a little bit of goo gone from Dollar Tree and scrape it off with a scraper and wipe it right off. Then I took some E6000 and I'm going to add it to the edges of each one of the candle holders. I've been sure to be very generous with it and I'm trying to get as much as I can that tiny little ledge on there. You can also add it to the bottom of the pumpkin and then put the candle holder on. Just put something that is heavy over it to hold it in place and I'm just going to let that sit for a while. Then I'm going to take these two solar lights from Dollar Tree. I will be using only the tops. So I'm going to remove the tags and tape the solar section with some masking tape. Then I took it outside and did one coat of this brilliant gold paint and then did a little bit of spritz with this one to even it out. Once they were dry, I'm going to come back in and add into the top of my pumpkins. To make sure that this stays in place for a little while, I just added a bit of hot glue along the inside portion of the lights just so it will stay in place and it won't slide off with the wind. And just like that, this project is done. Let me know what you think. For the next inspiration, we will be using this steak solar light and this planter from Dollar Tree. The first thing that I did is take my planter and I painted it with one coat of my linen white chalk paint. Once that dried, I'm going to take some floral foam and we are going to add it to the inside of our planter. If you're enjoying this video so far, don't forget to leave me a like. Go ahead and comment and let me know which one is your favorite and make sure that you share with someone that will enjoy the content as well. All right, now it's time to add our solar light to the middle of our planter. I'm using the stick inside of it just so I have less height and then I'm covering this floral foam with some floral moss. Then I took a variety of flowers and greenery from Dollar Tree. These are mums that I got actually last year and I went to cut them into individual pieces and put them here and there. I'm using a variety of orange and yellow. And I'm adding in between some of this fall boxwood. Friends, as I mentioned earlier, remember today is a collaboration. So make sure that you hit that link in the description box below and go visit my friends, Aurea, May, and Jenny that are part of this collaboration. I have some amazing creations for you as well. As I was adding the flowers here, I'm trying to find balance between the two colors and the boxwood. And I'm just, you know, adding more yellow where I see like there's too much of the orange and orange in places in which I see there's too much of the yellow. And I'm trying to put the boxwood in between those as well. And no rhyme or reason, I just kept going with it, adding here and there until I was happy with the end result. And that was it. Let me know what you think. For the next project this evening, I'm going to use this leftover piece of MDF board that I used for a previous project and three of these solar lanterns. I painted the board using my four card black paint and then I'm going to do kind of like a dry brush of the white over it. I want this to be a bit rustic. I want that black to peek through.
Once the paint dried, I'm going to add these, as you see right there, on each end and one in the middle. And I'm getting hot glue to the bottom of these and I hear them right in place. These guys, these uh, have the button inside of this. So I'm, what I'm putting down right now is the base, which you're able to take off the candle and turn it off and on if you pull that clear part off. Now I'm going to take a variety of the same fall eucalyptus or actually boxwood from Dollar Tree. And I'm taking the individual pieces off and adding them here and there trying to create balance in between both sides and add in boxwood in different places until I'm happy with their placement. Here I'm just holding it up because I do not want it to droop down too much. I want it to have a little bit of height so I'm just holding it in place until the glue sets so I have that wispy look to each one of the pieces. And the same things that I do to the front, I did to the back as well. If you're still with me this far into the video, guys, you are amazing. Thank you so much for sticking around with me, for sticking with me and seeing these things through. And I hope I have inspired you today to create something amazing. Leave me a flower emoji so I know who you are and I'm able to say a big thank you to you. All right, as you see right here, I am adding some of these red mums that I got from Dollar Tree. I am adding them in between, trying to put them in the intersection where I added the eucalyptus. Eucalyptus boxwood, I keep going in between those two, but you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> and here in the corners, I added some more as well. And what I did to the front, I did to the back as well. Because this is a centerpiece that will be going on my patio um, table so I want that to be beautiful in all sides and I'm adding some here to the middle as well and I'm going to add one dead center in between the lights and this completes this DIY actually no I'm adding two more <laughs> I thought I needed a little bit more dimension here in the front so I added two pieces of eucalyptus underneath of that mom on both sides and I thought that this just give it a nice flow to the whole piece and now we are done. Let me know what you think. And here we go with the final reveal. Don't forget to let me know which one of these is your favorite. My friends, as always, thank you so much for watching. Be blessed, be a blessing, and craft responsibly. And if you would like to follow me on social media, here are my social media links. And don't forget to visit my friends in the playlist. If you would like to watch some more of my videos, here's a suggestion, and you are more than welcome to binge away with this playlist as well. Thank you so much for spending time with me today. You're amazing. Bye.